Hello, in this video we are going to show you a set of exercises for obese adults which comprise of warm-up session, main exercises consisting of 12 exercises, 45 seconds each and 15 seconds rest in between as well as the cool down session. We are going to do 5 warm up, 30 seconds for each and no rest time in between. Let's start with a simple march. Warm up is important to prepare our body before doing exercise. It gradually revs up our cardiovascular system by raising our body temperature and increase blood flow to the muscles. Warming up also helps to reduce muscle soreness and lessen the risk of injury. Next is leg and arm back stretch. In this step, you need to stretch your arm to the side and kick your leg to the back. For cross body to touch exercise, you need to step your feet up wide, spread your arm to the side, reaching for the opposite toe, back to the center and repeat for the other toe. Keep the feet wide open for the next exercise called side lunges. Come down with hand on the leg and switch. You will feel the tension in your inner thigh. the last warm up, you need to lift both of your arm to the side and draw some circles. Switch the direction after 15 seconds. After all the warm up, now you are ready for the main exercises. Good luck! Hello everyone! First of all, you are going to start with wall push up. Legs comfortably apart, hands on the wall, and here we go. Wall push up engage muscles across your upper body, including the pectoral muscles, anterior deltoids, and triceps. Wall push up also increases stability. With proper form, while push up, activate the stabilizer muscles in your midsection, including your abdominal muscles and lower back muscles. Now we are going to do some leg extensions. So place one hand on the wall, take the opposite leg and just kick back. Leg extensions are a key exercise in strengthening the patellar ligament and quadriceps attachment for the knee. This exercise target the quadriceps femoris. Quadriceps are a group of muscles in the front and side of your thigh. Okay now time to change your leg.
Here we are going to do calf raises. You can use the wall to steady yourself if you need to. The calf muscles are located in the back of the lower legs. Strengthening your calf muscles with the calf raise exercise will help protect your Achilles tendon and calf from injury. Okay, let's move to the next exercise which is walking jet. Start this exercise by stepping out wide to the side with your right foot and proceed to swing both arms out and around to extend straight up overhead. Once that leading foot is stable on the ground, follow by stepping the left leg in close. At the same time, swing the arms back down to your starting positions. Once you get the rhythm down, you can quicken your steps and get even more out of this movement. As soon as you complete one set step, repeat the movement going the opposite direction. Next, we are going to do standing side crunch with 12 repetitions on each side. Firstly, standing with your knees slightly bent, your feet hip width apart, then place one hand on your hip and the other hand over your hip. And then, shift your weight to the left leg, crunch to the right side and bring your right knee up toward your elbow. Lower your right leg and return to the starting position. Lastly, switch legs and repeat until the set is complete. Adding standing side crunches to your workout routine can help to target the oblique muscle. Then, this exercise called lateral arm circles. What you need to do is, standing feet together and arms straight out at shoulder's hip. Slowly rotate your arms forward, making small circles of about 1 foot in diameter while stepping alternating leg back and return. Adding this exercise to your workout routine can help to warm up the shoulders, arms, chest and back. This is a great exercise to incorporate at the beginning of an upper body workout to prevent injuries and prepare your body for strength training. You have got this, so let's finish up. Hello everyone, so before we move on to the next exercise, let's have a rest. Squat is very important to build your muscle strength. To do squat, first, set your feet about your shoulder width apart. When bending your knees, make sure your back is in natural curve. Imagine that you are sitting into an imaginary chair, and then slowly return to your standing position. Repeat this step for 45 seconds and make sure your head and chest are straight and your heels stay on the ground throughout the exercise. Let's get ready for another exercise. Start the 
exercise by lying down in the position you are most comfortable with your leg bent and feet flat on the floor. Raise or march one of your leg up and lower it down. Repeat the same step for the other leg. You can also perform this exercise by using Terra Band. For your information, this exercise target for your abs and lower back. Don't forget to take a rest in between exercise. To do bird dog exercise, place your knees under your hips and your hand under your shoulder. When you're ready, raise your right arm and left leg straight parallel to the floor. Hold this position for a few seconds and repeat the same step for left arm and right leg. Do as many repetitions as you can until the time is up. Take a note that this exercise can improve your stability, align your spine and relieve your low back pain as it targets for core, hips, glutes and back muscle. The next exercise is side plank. Start on your side with your feet together and one forearm directly below the shoulder. Contract your core and raise your hips until your body is in a straight line from head to feet. Hold the position without letting your hips drop for a period of time. After a while, repeat the same steps on the other side. This exercise mainly helps to improve the core strength of your body, improve your flexibility, as well as to burn the fat around your abdomen area. The next exercise is push up. Place both of your hands on the floor and straighten your arms and legs. Lower your body until your chest touches the floor. Pause then push yourself back up. Repeat the push up as much as you can within the time allocated. Basically push ups help to improve your muscle mass and cardiovascular health as well as effectively strengthens your shoulder joints. However, for obese person, you should begin to the exercise slowly and start with a little amount of push-ups and you might increase gradually the number of push-ups as your body gets used to it. Last but not least, we are going to do bicycle crunches. Lie down on your back and arms behind your head. Bring legs up front. Bring your right knee in, touching your left elbow to your right knee. And switch, bringing your left knee in, touching your right elbow to your left knee. Keep your upper body lifted off the ground and your core tight. Repeat the steps within the time allocated. On to the cool down session. First, we're gonna do a shoulder stretch. Grab one arm above your elbow, 
with your opposite hand and pull it across your body towards your chest until you feel a stretch in your shoulder. Make sure to keep your elbow below your shoulder height. Now we move on to a cat cow stretch to stretch our neck, abs and back. Going up, going down and going up again and going down. The next exercise is a seated side straddle with your legs at a distance that is comfortably apart sitting upright and put your hands as shown in the video and then reach to one side and return to the center and then to the other side okay let's bring our legs to a seated butterfly so you are sitting upright and just push your thighs down as much as you can and just hold this position for 20 seconds now we're gonna do a seated calf stretch so slowly turn one leg back into view and on the other leg holding it out and rotate the knee such that the toes are pointing in towards the chest and with your hand draw your feet towards you okay now we are going to get on our backs and do a lying hamstring stretch so just lie on your back comfortably and bring your leg up to the ceiling and you may use a towel or a strap to hold your leg in position Now we are just gonna get in a kneeling position and simply going to pull our arms behind our back. Open up your chest, chin up, and breathe. The very last stretch we're gonna do is the kneeling stretch which is to stretch our thighs so hold this position for 20 seconds but if it causes pain in your knees just keep this 